afternoon, Your Honor. May it please the Court, Kim Brown from Landis, Rath & Cobb, appearing today on behalf of FTX Trading Limited and its associated debtors. Your Honor, we have two matters that are on the agenda today. The first is the debtor's motion for authority to sell the Ledger X business, and the second is a motion to seal certain information in the schedules attached to the interest purchase agreement for the Ledger X business. Unless Your Honor has any questions on the agenda, I will turn the podium over to Mr. Dietrich, who will be handling the seal motion. Thank you. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Andy Dietrich, Sullivan & Cromwell. Thank you, Your Honor, for accommodating us today. The objection deadline for the matters was the hearing today, but we are not aware of any objection. So I'm going to proceed, and then others, I guess, can speak if they have an objection. So, Your Honor, we have the first matter, which is the motion to approve the sale to Ledger X, the sale of Ledger X. The evidentiary record for this, Your Honor, is four declarations, and I'd like to move those into evidence now. The first is the declaration of John J. Ray at docket 1343. The second is the declaration of Bruce Mendelson at docket 1344. The third is the declaration of Thomas Gallagher at docket 1345. And the fourth is a supplemental declaration of Mr. Mendelson we put in last night at docket 1414. Is there any objection? Good afternoon, Your Honor. Jeff Sabin from Venable as counsel for OKC USA Holding, Inc., a qualified bidder and its affiliate. We have no objection to entry of the evidence. We also appear, first and foremost, to make clear to this Court and everybody here that the OKC entities do not and will not object to the proposed sale. They will not object to entry of the proposed sale order, and they will take no action that otherwise objects to or interferes with closing of the transactions contemplated by the proposed sale. However, I feel constrained, Your Honor, to tell you and to make a statement to everyone who's listening and to those in court that the OK entities reserve all of their rights to seek appropriate relief relating to certain statements made in Mr. Mendelson's supplemental declaration, docket 1414, late last night, concerning what they believe are misleading and or simply untrue statements concerning regulatory matters related to the OKC entities. Those statements, in particular those in paragraph 12 of Mr. Mendelson's supplemental declaration, we believe are simply not true, as the OK entities at all times and in each of their submitted bids made clear their obligation and their willingness to comply with any CFTC or other governmental requirements and to provide information and to cooperate in connection therewith. So with that, Your Honor, I hope this proceeding otherwise goes quickly. I hope the sale is approved and we simply reserve our right and make clear why we did so. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sabin. Anyone else have an objection to entry of the declarations into evidence? All right. The declarations are admitted without objection. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, we also have a proffer that the U.S. trustee has requested of the buyer, and I think Ms. Schweitzer is going to address that proffer. All right. Ms. Schweitzer. Good afternoon, Your Honor. My name is Lisa Schweitzer from Cleary Gottlieb. I'm counsel to M7 Holdings LLC, which is the proposed buyer of Villa Direct Assets, and I'm here to provide the following proffer at the request of the United States Trustee's Office. I'm proffering as follows on behalf of Mr. Tom Gallagher, who is the chairman and CEO of M7 Holdings LLC and who, Your Honor, saw put a declaration into evidence in the court. The proffer is that if called to the stand, Mr. Gallagher would testify the buyer would not have entered into the purchase agreement if the sale of the Ledger X business were not made free and clear of any successor liability of buyer, and further, the buyer would not have entered into the purchase agreement if the sale of the Ledger X business did not include the sale and conveyance of the acquired claims and the coverage claims by the debtors. That's the end of the proffer. 
Thank you. Is there any objection to the entry of the proffer into the record? It's admitted without objection. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Ms. Weinstein. Um, Your Honor, Andy Eder, for the record. Um, Your Honor, I'd like to give you an opportunity, if, you, if you'd like, to ask any questions you have about the sale contract or the order or anything else. But no, I think that's I've, the rest of our I've, business. I've read the papers. I'm, I'm satisfied. I've read all the declarations as well. So. Okay, excellent. Well, Your Honor, then I'd like to move for approval of the order. Okay. Does anyone wish to be heard? Right. Satisfy the entry of the order is appropriate. I will enter the order. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the second item on the agenda on the docket today is the sealing order. Um, I think um, we'd like to move for entry of that as well. Okay. Does anyone wish to be heard on the seal order? Okay. Um, I'm satisfied the requested relief is appropriate as well. I will enter that order. Thank you, Your Honor. That's all we have for today. Well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> it won't always be so. We should enjoy it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you all very much. We are adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor.